I just see a face move in that hole. Hold on. Oh my god, I don't know if I can go over there now. You guys, there's something in that cave. I think. This one marked. I got another, I got other really strange looking made caves here. You see this? It's smaller. That's made, you guys. That's more like a mountain lion to me. But they don't make their caves. It's kind of steep over there. That's a 90 degree right there. 80 degrees right there, straight up. It goes down and then straight up. Except to you when you get over there. I don't know what to do. All right, let me figure it out. No way I'm going up there. So something. Hello? Something's in the cave. I swear something is in side of that cave right there. Not only that, with the, remember when I showed you the crows? They were all right here flying. All the crows are right here. And now they're all landed in the trees behind me, staring at me, making noise. Okay, I find it, like, there's too many things going on right now that are a little bit weird to me. I have caves somewhere. Where's the cave? There's a cave. There's a cave. These are the only ones I can see. See, my guess is typically their entrances would be like this way, like you wouldn't be able to see it. And that's assuming they use caves. I'm not even saying Bigfoot does. I, I mean, I think they do. I think it's a great place to leave the baby for a while. Great place to sleep during the day. Can you imagine how nice and cool it is in there? I got that one leaner. Look at that thing. It's killing me. Look at that leaner. Where is it? See it? You'll just see it right there. That's a leaner. And they're going nuts on me. Oh, man. Something is in there. I saw, I saw something in there. making a noise and they're just staring at me like I'm almost sure I'm not supposed to go to that cave I want to go so bad but I, it's really hard you guys Got an enormous amount of pine cones right down there as well the only reason it's black is it's all pine cones something's going on in there This is, it's really, I'm, I'm, I'm towards the top of that boulder field. Well, at least actually it keeps going that way forever, but I'm at the top where it kind of, where there's a top basically. Um, I think I found a cave for something. Now, it kind of looks like it was made. Um, I can't be sure. It could be a fort, you know, I got these little decorations and a perfect tree growing in the middle of it. It goes down and takes a right. I've really got, I got my head in there pretty good. Whoa. I'll tell you what interests me the most about it in a minute. All right, I don't know if the camera is, so you can see, and it goes down and it takes a right. Um, and you can come in from this side as well, right there. And it goes way back in here. Oh, I didn't see this. Oh, that's not part of it. It is, but. So it goes way back into this mountain. So I think that you just basically crawl through there. I could do it with my body and go through there. And then in there, there's something. And this is what, what makes me think it's actually a cave. Um, and uh, I'm, I, I'm scared to say Bigfoot related, but I don't know. You know, then you're coming right out of it. You know, it's like a landscaped, well, these rocks, I think, were put here. 
You know what I mean? Maybe not, but I think so. Actually, that one looks like it slid out of that one about a few million years ago. But then I got this mulched little thing here. It's very strange with markings, woods, leaners. All kinds of other little, where, you know, it looks like there's been a lid put on it. You know, it was a big opening type of thing. You know, leaners in the middle of the rocks where there really couldn't be a tree. Um, another one right there where you can get in. It, it really looks like that one was just picked it off the ground and pushed like that. I mean, it looks made to me. You look very carefully, because I mean, let's be honest, rocks could fall in every way in, in the world and, and half of it might look made. But with a path into a cave, I mean, that's where you live, right? That's the most discreet place in the world. I was thinking like, wow, I could live there. <laughs> like I could go in there. I mean, God, you could go in there. Who knows what's back up in there? That's where it leads to, back over in there, and then it goes in. Hmm. And I got a path, you know, with what looks like footprints going into that cave. There's no other mulch anywhere else. I don't see any scat of any kind at all. So it just, to me, it eliminates any kind of a mountain lion situation. I gotta get up there. I, I gotta get out there so bad. Let's see what happens. Here's the other strange thing. So right, there's the path, right? We'll show you that little path into the cave. I mean, I'm gonna call it a path. You know, and uh, even other huge giant boulders that look like they might have been, I know it's a reach, but flipped up. I mean, because at one point, th this stuff was all falling apart a few million years ago. I mean, it really fell apart. You know, I think that big one probably would have fell. It was probably, you know, like a rock face. I don't know that for sure, but being that I have that whole intricate, you can see the gaps, I mean, just right here, and that goes in. You could climb, I'm telling you, you could, even in that hole, no problem, and where's the, where's the big one? Right there, hold on. I'm too zoomed, where am I? So not there, that one. No problem getting in that hole. I mean, I could just go right in it. And I don't know, I'm a little bit nervous to go. If someone was here, I'd go in. Um, and I just may do that one day. But you see how everything here is packed down? So anyway, I'll shut up. Everything on the outside that is leading right to that cave. So I got this, which meets here. That They're making an arrow, and it points right there. I just find that all very coincidental, and it all could be nothing. It really could be nothing. I mean, if I, I don't know. I, I just find that all of this, and that these, this thing happens to come over here, and this giant one is pushed. You know, all the big boulders are marked with giant sticks leaning over them, and I don't know, man. Something's going on. These boulders are definitely worth a closer look. I wouldn't mind coming back here at nighttime, you know. This would be a good, so that, a lot of that next year, too. That's where I want to go right now, if I can. A lot of night next year, a lot of, um, remember you guys, this is the first real, you know, season. So, you know, getting things together, talking to people, networking, trying to get enough money to do these things. Uh, Things like that, you know. Keep in mind, you know, keep in mind, I don't do any of this stuff for profit. There's no like, yeah, I made this much money. I mean, maybe a little bit, but it's more like I made this much money to do this. Like, I want to I wanna be able to do these things, you know, like all this different, you know, neat stuff that no one's really done before. Like, what researcher has left his area and went around, and, and I'm not talking about Rio, who's, who's more social, but I'm talking about me, who will go there and find this. And I've never even done it, and I know I can do it every single time. It just doesn't matter where you live. I'll show you where Bigfoot is in New York City. I'm not even kidding. <coughs> Maybe I'll, <coughs> I'll do that one day. <coughs> Colorado Bigfoot in New York City, that'd be funny. Squatching. Although I don't know about New York City, but I have heard, believe it or not, 
sight about sightings in New York City. So I'm very willing to believe that. Come on, that the city, there's the, the networks underneath the ground there and stuff. And I'm not even gonna go ahead and say Bigfoot on that one. I'm gonna go ahead and say Bigfoot knows them, but I think you're getting into some other type of creatures there. And they could very well be there as well. I don't know. See, everything's marked, all the boulders are marked. That's them, okay? They love these boulders. What a great place to sleep. <coughs> you know, as a human, you know, I'm looking for, you know, the Fred Flintstone entrance, you know, and it, I, I'm, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, I got to look for the opposite of that. Like, you know, the most unusual, you know, th like this, I'll use this as an example. This is, the, you know, it's just to show you that I'm mess not messing around. This is the type of stuff, the type of thinking I do. Now, do I think this is an entrance to a cave? No. But am I going to extra look at this spot? Absolutely. When I see no other real, well, there's a couple here, but no other real sticks in the log. So I got one just leaning, just laid on top. I got this one just leaning next to it. I have another one on the ground here, another one on the ground here. Something is encouraging me to, to want to come right to here. Um, so I'm going to check this out. Um, in this case, I don't think um, it is, but... I just want to give you guys an idea of how I think, you know, this is, I don't need to see an entrance to a cave to think there might be one there. I read their language, you know, their language, you know, something's going on here. I just haven't figured it out yet. I'm guessing that's way the freak up there. The <laughs> longest slip of the day and I'm just, my buddies, that's, those are all Bigfoots. All of them. They may not be them, but they're... I think they use their eyes. There's another leaner straight across. Ooh, it might be easier to get up over here. Ooh. I got a splitting headache. I got a fever. I, I could film this blind stuff all day long. I mean, there's clearly all kinds of activity happening right here. It's pretty cool. It's, I'm really enjoying being here because it's... The most inter one of the most interesting places I've ever been. Looking for oh, that looks interesting. You guys, look at that. That we can walk over to. Look at the leaners. Now, first of all, you got no. Those things have no business being there, right? At all. And you got the one. Ooh, I like it. You guys, don't put it past a 12-foot Bigfoot that he would actually have to lay on his stomach and barely fit through a hole. To get into where he goes, don't don't think that they're 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 not they're they're too cool to do that. They don't have that. That's the way we think. You know, he would think he was cool because he could he could fit in that hole. You know, that's that's how these guys think in my mind. Not like any other way. So let's go to that, right? What the heck is going on? With that? Yeah, there's some vibage on that one. We're not. 